the word bitch represents something that's so repugnant to women but the fact is I choose to say it or choose not to that's the amount of respect that you earn from me it's not the amount of respect that you automatically are entitled to you're not entitled to the door being open. You're not entitled to me laying my good coat on a puddle. You're not entitled to me wrestling an alligator to save your life. It's desire. That's all. That's what the word bitch is, just to let you know, hey, bitch. And you go, don't be calling me no bitch. You go, okay, bitch. Now what? What's option two? That's all I want to say. I want to give you options to make me not want to call you a bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Do you love your mother? I love my mother to death. You understand? But that has nothing to do with you. You know what I mean? Like I said one time, that's my mother. Like, my mother used to be somebody's bitch. He was my, you know, my mother had boyfriends. And they had to deal with my mother's bullshit. My mother knows what she used to do to guys sometimes. She would tell me. She would fuck with their manhood. She made my girl, my sister's father throw a fan at her. She told me that story. Wow. Made him so, tussed his manhood so much, threw a fucking fan at her. Because she boiled him down. To what he had over her, which is manness, physicality. And that's what I'm trying to help dudes to not have to ever c conquer your woman with physicality, man. You have to try to conquer them with logic and make them look at you like, you know what? I'm going to follow this guy because he knows where he's going. You know what I'm saying? But when a woman don't respect you, they test your manhood constantly, dude. It's, it wears you out. But I'm going to tell you what, soldier. If, 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 if It's just like fighting a terrorist, man. You're going to stop? You're going to stop? You're going to take a break? They don't take a break. You understand? They they out there trying to figure out how to kill us with orange juice and fucking Gatorade <laughs> and lotion. And they, they don't take a break. And that's what women are. They are fucking insurgents <laughs> making improvised explosive devices. And <laughs> and the day you go, I don't feel like checking Boom. for mine. I'm tired. <laughs> Blah! Fingerless motherfucker. <laughs> you understand? Yes. You fingerless nigga. You are... <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting there Never like stops. you can't be tired. You're dealing with the the worst terrorists there are. Women. They're brutal. And here's what makes them the brutalist is that they don't do it maliciously. Organic. You understand? It's organic. It's an organic fucking response. It, it, it's, it's it's like it's instinct. It's instinct. Thank yeah. you. It's like it's like if you have a a, a, a pet a pet a rattlesnake That's what you bites. gotta always know that it's gonna bite you you be like damn this, don't this motherfucker know I feed it everyday I got fish that don't give a fuck about me except for I, I feed them that's when they come to the glass and then when I go to the glass and tap the glass or I do something like I, I'm trying to have some bonding with them they swim away like I'm any other nigga <laughs> and they'll take food from anybody that's what, look, no man, loyalty. That, that's what I'm saying, man. Women do things instinctively. I'm not saying that they're disloyal, but they do things with this instinctive level and they bash you down. And it's not, it's not because they want to. And that's the thing. It's like going back to the terrorist thing. Mm -hmm. It's like you are fighting somebody with an ideal, an ideolo a ideology, a fucking a, 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 a philosophy about uh, uh, killing you. And all you doing is going to work. I'm the TSA guy at the airport. All I want to do is go to work and check for for the, for the, for the belt buckle and the chain and the watch and the, and take your cell phone out the pocket. That's all I want to do. And I'm trying to fight that ethic versus uh, it's not even an ethic. A it's belief. just I'm going, a belief system. I am fighting somebody with a belief system. You, this is what I'm saying, fellas. You got to get a belief system in, into and your stick happiness. With it and stick with it. And, and, and make it unconscious. Make it a, an unconscious, natural thing. That's when women will start to get the point where if they start doing their shit. Don't, you don't think, man. Let me tell you something, man. I, I'm getting going again. Because I've been with my girl and not getting no other pussy and, and, and being decent and this, that, and the third. And it takes away your fangs. I start pulling my fang out. Uh, you know, I'm going to take rusty. it out. I don't need to. Like, I start saying, damn, I'm not even mad no more. I'm like, honey, get me. He was over my crib. <laughs> my, me, my man, uh, uh, him, David. and Gavin. Two big niggas and my girl and, and me. And we chilling in my, in my house made for niggas. And my girl's like, yeah, you guys need water and... 
I'm mm. like, yeah, and she's bringing down everybody some water, and we eating steaks, and she's upstairs not bugging me. And I'm sitting there and going, we're like, when are you going to get rid of this bitch? <laughs> Boy, you got yourself a good woman. When is this bitch going to get out of here so we can have an orgy, nigga? I want to fuck on top of this television. And I'm sitting there like, hey, fellas, ain't she a great girl? <laughs> Give a fuck about that. But it take it does fuck with you, man, when the man. girl relentlessly will not let you. She just will love you till you go. Wah, uh, wah. That's the that's the that's the sound. Once you say I'm gonna be in love, I love my girl. But dude, I got to stay on her, man. I got to watch her every second of the day, cause she will do something unconscious until I'm an unattractive motherfucker, man. The, her attractiveness to me is that I'm a she, I'm it's a your pimp. Strength. It's your strength that makes you attractive. Soon as you change, it's it. I out logic her, man. She can't out logic. There's been times she goes, forget it. I just give up. Cause all you're gonna do, this is her. All I'm gonna do when we argue so I'm is logic. turn it around so that she feels wrong. That's how. That's what she think now. All you're gonna do is make me feel like I'm wrong, that's which is that's just as dumb as I've ever heard. That's second degree black belt though. But, but she just gave up, but in a in a tricky way. Man. I'm gonna tell you what she did one day when I was feeling soft. She goes like this. She says some shit. I forgot what she said. She said, um, yeah, something, something. It was something that I should have checked her on and I didn't. And then I said, uh oh, wait a minute, let me check her. Right? What'd you say, bitch? Did you just say? And then she goes, I thought you was going to let me get away with that shit. <laughs> she karate kicked me, and I didn't know. And she thought that shit hit me and knocked me out. And she, she was now looking forward to the next level mm -hmm. of taking my shit so that she can feel comfortable, dude. She hates me, but she loves me. <laughs> but she loves hating me, dude. Does that make sense? Yes, She it loves does. the passion that her hatred for me has. It gives her passion. Let me tell you something. I tell my girl, if you ever in your life yell at another guy, you might as well go with him. If you, if some guy you don't know evokes passion in you, that you yelling and screaming and you hate some other fucking dude, that that let me tell you, women's hatred is just like love. It's the same thing. It's passion. If a girl has indifference towards you, like if a chick, if girls aren't getting mad at me, right, for saying what I'm saying, this is a useless show. <clears throat> you gotta have them. If they sit there and go and dismiss me, like, okay, turn from this. This guy's just corny. Not turn from this. Fuck him. Or turn from this. What is he talking about? But turn like boring and really believe that that's a chick that's lost she's like fuck you when your girl gets like that and some guy in the streets can evoke like passion anger in my girl nigga you know what i put my girl through to make her angry nigga anger and she loves me so you don't give out your emotions frivolously motherfucker you give your emotions you be selective you don't be hating nobody you know what i'm saying that's i'm telling you it's constant it never stops, dude. I'm telling y'all, fellas, it never stops. You can't rest. Because they pretend that what they're doing is not malicious, and it's not. It's just nature. And so we have to be diligent and purposeful to combat their, their fucking belief system. You have to be on guard. The most, the most you can hope for is a couple of months rest. Where she's and not trying to get her belt. In between the, belts. <laughs> Where she calls you master. Most, yes, master. But believe me, you're going to get challenged. Like my girl, I'm, I, you know, I'm diabetic, man, right? I'm, I, my, I'm trying to get my health right. And that is a thing that keeps her in control. Like the fact that she loves me enough to make me take care of my health. So take your pills. Did you take your pills? It's, it's because I can't go, bitch, stop caring about my health. Mind your motherfucking business. I'll have a heart attack if I feel like it, ho. That don't make no sense for me to do that. But that that's a thing that keeps her in this state of, like, yeah. that's my way to find a way to Control. to say something that that he has to listen to. And, and, and I can gain some type of command, and I look at her to let her know that's what she's doing so that she can go, look, I love you, just please take, you know, right where it's like, all right, it, it, it gives me a desire beyond myself because it's hard for yourself sometimes to take care of yourself. So, you know, it's like men are like have this ego, like even like with the mother thing, I, you know, I don't want to make my mom look like a bad person, but if she goes... She, she says to me, do something, and it's right. I don't want to just say no 
Because she's telling me. Right. You know what I mean? Sometimes you do, but sometimes you, as a man, you go, get them, get out of here, man. I, I, I handle everything. But sometimes you go, okay, I'll, I'll release myself as long as you don't get abusive. Which is what happens to women. They become abusive as soon as they get a, a in. As soon as you give them an inch, they take a mile. They can't help it. But you can't be mad about it. You can't hit them. You can't choke them. You can't yell at them. You have to be diligent till they get the option in their head of, okay, they have to think first. Okay, the shit, am I getting ready to do some righteous shit or am I getting ready to do some drama shit just to get his attention? Because it's not worth what's going to happen because if I need to talk to my girl for an hour, I talk to her for five till she's like, <laughs> I'm going to die listening to this nigga. <laughs> She can't out argue me. I'm gonna out. I'm gonna find a way. Cause two things. One, I feel like I'm right. Two, I'm a guy and we're competitive. I'm not gonna lose to you as a girl. Are you think I'm gonna let you out argue me? Never. I will. I will. I will do anything to make your point stupid. The sun shines. No, it don't, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? It doesn't shine. You know, it's just, you, you've got to be like that, dude. Sometimes, like if you're raising a child, sometimes eight, and you know, man, yeah. sometimes eight out of the ten, you might be right eight times and two times you are horribly wrong, but it it's worth it to be right the eight times. Yeah. And then sneak in that you are wrong the other two by buying them a goofy doll or, you know, giving them a, a ice cream sandwich. Hey, sorry. That's your Sorry. But the eight times you need it, you need that shit, man. I'm telling you. Get this shit back to the good old days. Run away, get missed with OJ. Just got a white girl from Jose. White girl says she wanna role play. Get this shit back to the good old days. Run away, get missed with OJ. Just got a white girl from Jose. It's for the snakes that be hissing, hating and dissing my image. Put the critic in the clinic, and this is lyrical slit resist. This shit's with smithing that pop like transmission. Computer virus transmitted through the ways of a fucking politician. Analytics just fitted the proper description. I twisted the limits, no limits in winning. I'm swimming in fiction, I'm fiction conflicted. The wicked is vivid, you spit it. It pop like a piston, it pop like a fucking transmission.